All right, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to Timukwa. This is our living room, if it's your first time here. Uh, and of course, everyone, to uh, welcome to the whole world uh, who's watching right now, which is in the future, which is going to be a little bit of a mind bender. But uh, anyhow, I'm very, very pleased. This is our artists in resonance number three, uh, featuring Ayako Yonetani and Masami Koshikawa. And Masami is going to join us a little bit later. Uh, um, so if you do not know who Masami is, she is a visual artist and she's also a movement artist, a, a performance artist. And uh, the final performance that uh, Ayako and Masami gave was right here. And uh, so the first portion of the concert, Masami just did movement. And while Ayako was playing uh, one of Bach's partitas, yeah? And uh, I can tell you like Masami's performance completely transformed the experience of listening to the Bach partita and made it very relevant to what's happening now in the world and what we're living through right now. It was incredibly moving. And so I invited her today because I think that she has a lot to offer to musicians because the expression in her face and everything that she can convey emotionally is really incredible. Uh, and of course, you know, like I'm a, a trumpet player I'm a little bit limited as far as my the body language goes because I have to stick to this uh, piece of metal on my uh, on my lips, you know. But uh, string players have a little bit more uh, uh, freedom of movement, and you can express a lot through movement. So I hope that uh, she will uh, uh, bring something. I I think that she's going to bring something really really uh, uh, relevant and uh, uh, useful to string players and to musicians uh, of all instruments. And so, uh, without further ado. Uh, Professor Yonetani, please take over. It's you.
or not? I can hear you, but if you if it's uncomfortable, I understand. Okay. Uh, usually, um, you know, it's I don't have I don't have to say anything about you making or you know those things, but you're about that level. Um, and I was thinking, what can I take? What can I take? So that's kind of how the assignment you gave me. But um, I so technically I thought you could maybe think about deep learning visual space, different kind of deep learning. Um, you could maybe open up the, I didn't mean to zoom up before I came, but uh, open up the little bit, you know, like any textbook, they say, you know, like uh, you might have heard on vibrato and a little vibrato and the finger vibrato. In my theory, I always feel if you do so much this one, but it's this, this joint is locked, then you don't hear anything. It's so you have to unlock the each um, joint. So I saw the beginning, and so the two things, the basic things I saw, the vibrato, you could think about a little bit, maybe more variety, or I thought maybe you could add open up a little bit. Some yeah, I, I didn't go much either. Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's what I thought. And then technically, uh, musically, I thought, you know, there was probably 80 people behind you, right? If you play with orchestra. So for my taste, I thought, well, what can I say? And then so it's almost e to for my uh, taste, it was a little too elegant. I don't know if it's... Uh, um, it's the word, but you could a little bit build up the one that it's lit like a beginning. Um, let's start from the beginning. So, like you, you're doing a lot, so I, I see, but I don't really hear too much. Yeah. Uh, like, like that 
advanced like you are, you know, it's up to your personal taste. Everything is gonna be out of, but you know, you know, at the end, it's like you're gonna choose. But the uh, important thing is if you can control what you order here. So, uh, can you do vibrato twice as low, even though it's musically not matching? But can you do? If you're doing this speed. Bring him up 
people are more into ensemble and they're mm. not like I'm a soloist you know <laughs> just go on my tempo you know and also he plays slightly sharp on purpose in a certain basis so but this one is beginning you know the beginning of the world so you have to present yourself I'm the soloist so then you can do it's a little bit today, actually. It's a little bit more. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, right. So what do you bring right uh, now? Tchaikovsky concerto. That's a title, what do you call it? Yeah, Tchaikovsky is a composer and uh, it's a concerto, it's a big piece with the orchestra. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I guess, you know, it opens very, um, very sweet and like open, as you said, you know, it's very open at the opening. Um, you know, it's very warm. You can almost see like a like a warm landscape of you know, grass and like a it's just it's sunny outside. Or mm-hmm. so it's very it's kind of happy. I'd say at the mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, it develops into quite a kind of triumphant melody. I don't know if, if you heard it, but uh, it, it it does transform obviously into something more prideful. Um, you know, after that, there's also a, a very slow kind of romantic section. So it's very, you know, um, romantic is, you know, because it's, it's a romantic composer. So it's obviously, it's, there's a lot of elements of, of, of that. And um, yeah, so mm-hmm. that's the, <laughs> the summary so far. Very good. What I was trying to maybe say is the personal, personal issue of the story, right? Maybe give your own children after they after after is when they cry imagine your mother dying <laughs> like there's a bit uh, exaggerated but maybe uh something i don't know that was pretty that's a great touch can you imagine what 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 were you thinking i kind of said that the, you know it's like um, <laughs> Like in terms of emotion, or like whatever that you imagine. Um, well, it's kind of an abrupt entrance because it, you know, the orchestra is still kind of moving, and then the solo continues the melody. So it's kind of like, um, kind of like a main, well not main character, but a character coming in from kind of the shadow, and then kind of introducing itself. Okay. Okay. Uh, what kind of character? Uh, well, it's kind of shy from the very op- beginning, but it kind of opens up towards you know after the, the arpeggio, the, um, and then it kind of. Wh- which arpeggio? Are you well, the, the <laughs> kind of opens up like character-wise. Uh huh. And then it kind of leads off into. Is it one person? Are you imagining one person? Um, There's no right and yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, correct or wrong. It, it, because I'm uh, just asking, what do you think? Why do you think there's multiple different characters? So, I think that at the. the <laughs> I think that is a different character, obviously. Uh-huh. So, uh, it kind of leads into the introduction of a different you know, person or personality of the same uh, person. Um, and then this, this character is more kind of, kind of exposition wise, it's more like opening up and introducing itself ag- again, different, uh-huh. different character. Okay. You know, like uh, y- you're still young, so you have to kind of learn the classical style. But after all, you know, my, one of my teachers said, if it's convincing, it's good. So do something, you know. So can you do the fourth, fourth phase that one we just talked about, and then do the three sections, right? If you imagine like opera, can you just play the fourth phase again? Mm-hmm. Just make sure you're going to make a difference. It's not, so it should be more and more, so.
that up to that. Yeah. So mm. there's a quite dynamic sequence from beginning. Yeah. Because you just said shy, so you would start with the shy and then ah ba di da di da di da. Can you do that one more time? Yeah.
this one, one is true. Yeah. Sorry. So can you do that? So the beginning part was great. So then this kind of, and all of a sudden, wah, you know. Hmm.
how can you tell a story? You have to know the, the fundamental, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, it can change every time, but it has to be clear to you if, if, if it's, if it's going to be clear to us, the audience. And then it will allow you to uh, use more your body in a different way and, and create, you know, the, the, the communication a different way. It's so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, keep going. I'm not, I didn't want to cut you off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah For me, uh, what I do choreography or drawing, anything like that, I come from back and forth, you know, it's always like the expressionism and every grid counts on that canvas. So if you imagine every echo counts, the, the sound you create, every echo actually let it finish, disappear, and then keep doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so not not like well, this is you know the scenario. This is the one I'm going to do. Th- this is the uh, the overall original, I guess. Uh, written notes you follow, but actually every note and sound that you, every step counts, every mm-hmm. echo counts in, in that story. Clear from the script. Yeah, uh, if we can do condensed adult with it. Oh. And then use the imagination. Not, not okay, this is double stop and then this one is a I have to be careful about this noise, and not that. Some some kind of either emotional or the visual image. If you can. Oh, I'll try. Um, well, 
the echoes of the notes. I think I kind of, before I used to kind of um, rush the, the silence. Mm -hmm. So there's more, um, when there's a, a fermata, I kind of let it ring as, as you yeah, say. Like the sound and tone and you know, the every echo you have to kind of treat as, treat it as a reading, please, reading itself, have a nice echo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just only one thing. I think this the pacing is difficult. Uh, I thought one thing that I thought it could take a little bit more time. Um, here. Side, kind of thoughts about, I mean, 
I'm really giving it that much thought. Yeah, maybe think about it because there's a beginning of.
is he just came to uh, he just started taking lessons with me. Uh, she was in Japan before, and so uh, so this is the, about who was still playing Mozart concerto, but she memorized the machine, but she doesn't play it. So I said, well, why don't you do something new? So that she learned it in two weeks. So this is really um, Vinyansky. Forward Brillante. So, Forward Brillante, what do you know about from the title? Um, I don't know much about the title. Brillante? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Full name? I've never heard of that before. Chopin full name? It's a it's a Polish term. They say it has certain rhythm. It's the da da dum bum ba that da da dum da da that kind of rhythm also. Um, I I was going to say something different, but kind of you two is a little too nice in my head. This is a Belgian. It's called the Belgian piece. Do it's. Purely, I'm not sure it's purely showing off piece to to surprise people or something. So you need to. It's a, everything is a little bit like this to me. It's a little bit the edges. We need a little bit more edge to cut through the sound. That that's what I saw. But before I go into the second thing. If I listen to Ayako playing, I have all kinds of emotions. I can, I can just go, wow, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, and to like, I will kill somebody. You know, that, it, she gives me the energy to, I want to move my body. Want to move my body. You know, this emotions of Jayup, I feel like she has, doesn't know she has the power to change. You have the power to influence the audience, the larger audience. You imagine you are in the room, you know, how do you want to influence the audience? Do you want them to be mad and you be mad? Do you want to be happy? Then you feel the happy. I, I felt her angry though. <laughs> Very nice. I, th I think she has more, she doesn't know her voice yet, I feel like. Mm. But she plays like a second movement group. Mm. Thank you. No doubt. But this is a little different kind of piece. The mm -hmm. Vinyansky is a little, uh, let's do, it's a lot to do with second thing. Okay? So, um, Okay, from beginning, can you do every, do accent in each? Don't let it go. 
I mean, for this bit, probably it doesn't work, but you know the cartoons, the, the cat is going in. <laughs> like that. Have you seen that kind of in cartoon? He used like that, <laughs> just for now.
but I still hear it. So you 
Yeah, I don't know.